Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 30th, 2016, and we have some fantastic telescopic photographs that were sent in by one of our loyal Nibiru watchers. Her name is Viviana, and I want to thank Viviana for sending these photographs in. She has been working diligently to capture this planet on film, and she did a fantastic job. The photographs that she sent in have to be 100% one of a kind. I myself have not seen photographs like this yesterday. Now, getting into yesterday, we did have photographs come in that were very, very similar. They were taken by another Nibiru watcher of ours, and they were also taken telescopically, zoomed in as far as can be. And now... I believe this planet is becoming more and more visible in the nighttime sky. It's being illuminated by the sun because it's very close to the sun. The photographs are absolutely amazing. The detail in the photographs is impeccable. Now, we had a few questions from our subscribers when I mentioned yesterday we had to clean up some of the photographs. And what I meant by that, some of the static that comes in with the photographs had to be taken out. Meaning, we want to give you a clearer look at what you are seeing on your screen. So just adjusting the contrast and slight amounts of the color and the darkness or the lighting just has to be adjusted a little bit. And then you are able to see all of the detail on this planet and it seems like the planet is erupting with all kinds of debris now it has been said that the planet's rotation is very very fast this could probably be the reason why it emits such a huge cloud of debris and we have some photographs that came in by another one of our Nibiru watchers and we'll get to those in a minute now, these two photographs came in yesterday from one of our Nibiru watchers, and we don't know exactly what they are, but they were absolutely stunning. I mean, I was amazed at what I was looking at in the photographs. Great capture, by the way. This photograph, we believe, has to be one of the other planets in the Nemesis solar system. It could possibly be the gas giant Helion. Now, we've been getting a lot of little UFO photographs in the pictures that have been sent in by our Nibiru watchers. That photograph came in yesterday and was kind of hard to see. This photograph came in and it looked like just a little black speck. As we zoomed into it to investigate what it was, bingo, it's a metallic object. Whenever we are examining the photographs, it is becoming more frequent that we spot UFOs in these photographs. Now, as I was saying earlier about Nibiru having this very fast rotation and emitting this red oxide dust cloud, these photographs came in from an FAA weather cam up there in Alaska. And it was kind of time lapsed and it seemed like the planet was coming in and once again emitting this red oxide dust cloud and then settling near the sun. Once again, one of our Nibiru watchers sent this in fantastic catch. Now, a good friend of mine, his name's Joey, he was out yesterday, and he videotaped and also photographed some of these rainbow anomalies in the sky. Now, we are not sure how these rainbow anomalies are appearing in the sky. I personally have never seen this with my own eyes in my entire life. But in order for this to happen, it has to be some type of reflection and interaction with the sun. As we reviewed these two photographs, we came to the conclusion this may be something to do with chemtrailing because they do use aluminum particles in these combinations and compounds that they're spraying in our skies. The sun would have to have something reflective to produce this type of rainbow effect in our atmosphere. But folks, 
We will probably never know exactly what is causing that, but it's pretty, but it could possibly be even dangerous. Now, this photograph was absolutely amazing. Once again, one of our Nibiru watchers comes through with a beautiful, beautiful negative photograph of planet Nibiru. As we analyze that photograph, you can clearly see the three-dimensional spherical shape of the planet. Next, we had a short video sent in by one of our Nibiru watchers. And whenever we reviewed this video yesterday, we were kind of in awe looking at it. Very, very hard to explain, but you have to look at these videos and think to yourself, wow, that object above the sun's not moving. So watch this. Spraying the hell out of us again today. Wonder what we're missing here. Something's going on. Wow, that thing's getting higher in the sky, whatever that blue thing is up there. That was an amazing piece of video. Hard to say, though, what that was above the sun. This photograph came in to us from one of our Nibiru watchers from the All Sky Cam network of telescopes and clearly depicting Nibiru directly next to the sun. Well, everybody, it is clear and evident that Nibiru is getting closer to us because the photographs that are coming in are absolutely amazing. There is no doubt about it. It's very, very hard to deny everything that you are visualizing today in this video. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of you Nibiru watchers. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Keep your videos and your photographs coming in to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.